Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. I am Fruitful Hands 31 and today is going to be my number one uh, haul video from what I did the other day. I know you saw my cart crazy full in the previous video. If you haven't, please check that out. I'm gonna try to link it above. We'll see if I can do that. Uh, still a new, new YouTuber, new to reselling, want to learn, educate myself, and keep on going. So I decided to do YouTube videos. I'm going to tell you some brief information real quick, and then we'll get into the good stuff. Um, I decided to get into reselling and doing the YouTube channel because I wanted to increase some traffic to my stores. And I uh, really want to, my YouTube channel is also to really focus on encouraging people and kind of seeing from the beginning, because a lot of the resellers that I see on YouTube already have like years of experience and I am uh, really new. I started in uh, like, I really think it was like October 30th. I think it was on eBay. And so, I mean, it's really been only a couple of months. I just started last week on um, the end of December. I started with Poshmark. So um, I had part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark and um, I have an Instagram account as well. So if you want or see anything on this video, please message me on Instagram, fruitfulhands31, and I will be happy to discuss some information with you. You can just send me a direct message. Okay, let's get into it. So I not only am I going to go through what I got, but I also have two tips that I think I already have discovered that I am going to do the next time I get a chance to do a large haul or have a decent amount of time to go without kids. Uh, so without further ado, let's continue. <laughs> so I have tip one. I'm going to say that. Um, and then the second tip will start going into what I actually got. I'll show you this one right here is already something that I found, but this I'll tell you about later. But, um, so number one, uh, for new resellers, including myself, what I will do the next time I go is plan to pick out um, three to five specific, specific, different um, items to really focus on. Because when I walked into that store, there was absolutely no way that I could get my hands on every single item. And I really want to learn what I'm doing when I go. So to kind of break down and limit myself so that I just wasn't overwhelmed by everything was if I had picked like only short sleeve blouses and only, you know, certain sizes because I started from extra small, small and tried to go into the plus sizes and it was just really hard to do all of that. Um, I, I really shouldn't have focused on cardigans as much. It was just kind of where I first went. I know we're transitioning from season, even though where I'm from on the eastern coast in Massachusetts, it is very cold right now and rainy and yucky. So uh, our spring tends to be kind of rainy and cold. So cardigan sweaters, light sweaters are still really good for us here, but that's not for the rest of the United States. So, um, you know, focusing on picking three to five different types of garments that are probably going to be coming up for the next season is really important. That is my first tip for you. My second tip is, let me do this, number two. My second tip is um, really focusing on checking the entire garment, not just like looking up comps and, you know, learning while you're there. I mean, that's going to take some time looking up comps and trying to figure things out. I mean, I'm really slow at what I'm learning. So like what I'm doing right now, I haven't really built up like the quick ability to find certain things. So, um, I really, as I was going through some of my items, I have a little list where I've been writing down what like the average comp is. So I know what I'm going to put it on Poshmark and eBay for. Um, I, I saw so many flaws in some of the things that I got that I was really sad about it because I was like oh this is gonna be fun and then I saw something and it was so devastating and it's not like I can repair it because a lot of the stuff that I got were knits uh anyways so tip two really focus on checking your garment um check the sleeves check the ends especially if it's a knit like really look at it if it has any embroidery try to check all of the areas of the embroidery um and the hem and stuff just make sure there's nothing pulling and everything so let me get started. This one made me super sad because I was really excited about it. 
I am gonna still sell this because the gar the main piece is still good. It's just the wrap, which could be changed or maybe not even noticeable when you tie it. So um, I got a Moda International. Um, it's 100% cashmere, which I was really excited about. So it's kind of hard to see, but it is a wrap cardigan sweater. It crosses over in the front and then it has this. And as you can see, as I was going through it, because it was tied when I had it, I didn't untie it. It has a repair done by the previous owner. So it must have been cut or ripped and they just folded it up and cut it or if it was too long. I don't know. But I still think I'm going to sell this. Um, obviously, it's not going to be the full, like you know, what I could sell it as a regular retail value. I forget what I put on here. Um, I'm going to peek at my list. <clears throat> of course, I put a lot of stuff on here and I'm trying to go real quick. But uh, here it is. So um, comps were, I think, normally like 25. But because of the, um, the issue, I'm going to put it up for 15 and see what happens. I know it's cashmere, so... Um, but I'm still going to do that. Uh, the one that made me the most sad, this one doesn't have a high um, resale value, but I just loved this piece. I thought it was so cute. It's a like a um, duster um, cardigan sweater, thin. I just love that it's a hoodie. It has these really cool stripes along the side and the back. And it has like a tasseled, like, you know, um, a shag hem. And it's a between me and you. And it's, uh, doesn't fit me. I would still wear it, honestly. Uh, it's a small. Um, so I was, I was looking at this. I completely missed it. So this side is totally fine, you know, but I missed this until I was looking at it and I wanted to cry. Let's see if I can get it. It is so so sad let me see if I can show you it's like the biggest hole ever <laughs> so really check your garments because you know I didn't luckily I, I you know I got the 50% off coupon so I really didn't spend too much but you know I don't want to be spending too much in the beginning when I'm not even really bringing back my profit yet so um that's a sad sad day um this also, this one isn't also a high resale either, but I just thought it was so cool because it has this illusion <clears throat> top. It's so embroidered. It's fun. It's exciting. And I looked, when I looked at it at the store, it looked all well and good um, all over. But I, you know, again, I had been there for so long and I skipped over lunch, so I was a little exhausted. Um, but as I was looking at things, there's, I don't know if you can see it. See, there's that little hole, that piece of embroidery somehow ripped off. I was going to try to see if I could kind of fix that myself, um, you know, and try to like re-net it and stuff. I'll, I'll give it a shot, but I mean, just because I think it's fun and it has these really cool flutter sleeves, butterfly sleeves. Um, there's one other part on this side of the sleeve. Somebody must, they must have just like rubbed up against something. Oh, this, this little piece here is ripping but it's a Kim and Cami Kim and Cami but I just thought it was so cute it's just a simple t-shirt but it was just really fun so we'll see if I can repair it but I, I I don't know okay so then I got this one which was so fun and obnoxious I loved that it was just so fluffy because you know that's me oh I left this on here that's the other thing that's kind of saying I, I spent like six fifty on this piece. Uh, it's a Magashoni. I think I said that right. Um, I look a couple of there. I didn't even look up. Uh, I think the comps on this because I just put it aside. Um, but it's a button down or button up um, cardigan sweater with really fluffy sleeves. But what I found is that in the front it's ripped right there. Nice big hole right near the top button. So that I don't think can be repaired at all. Um, but it's, it's soft too. And it's nice. It's a, 
Yeah. But their stuff, I was looking at, they're like new with tag stuff. It retails pretty nicely. But, um, yep, that was a mistake. I mean, I thankfully it was only like three items that I'm, you know, had really big holes. But I will be checking from now on to make sure that I don't miss these huge flaws. Okay, I have so much. And this is part one. So I feel like I will limit it. So this is a Cambridge Dry Goods um, wool, 100% um, wool item. Um, there's a little, a little snag down here, but it's not bad. I could easily just cut that. But I just thought that was really cute. It's, it's not super thick, um, but it's, it's really cute. Kind of got that Asian style embroidery. I kind of went crazy with embroidery and hand crocheted items. I just kind of like, am drawn to that stuff. So, um, that one, I think I looked at it and comps were about 35, if I'm right. I could be wrong. Oh, I think comps were more at 45. So 45, um, the comps were, there was one other one, but it was reversed. It was black with white embroidery and that sold for 45. So I'm going to try to do the same. Um, the back is really nice too, but it's just, it's really fun. And it actually does has closures. It has um, those little J hook, little tiny J hook things on there. So that's cute. All right. Now let me show you. I found a couple of new with tags. So um, nothing super fantastic over here, but um, there was one thing that I was really excited um, about, but it didn't, it didn't come with new tags, but that's not a new tag item. Hold on. <clears throat> so this is like, still has this sticker on it. This is a Kohl's. Um, it literally comes from Kohl's. It tells you all that information on here. Um, but this is a, oh, I can't even remember. Really lightweight. Uh, that, I, I remember now. Simply Vera, Vera Wang, size small. Um, as I was, you know, I kind of briefly looked at a couple of things, a couple of things I just grabbed because I was like, you know what, it has new with tags. I'll just grab it anyways. Um, it's got this nice little, you know, long sleeve. Um, it's, it was cuffed, but it doesn't have to be. It's nice and lightweight. It's good for like spring, but you can also wear it on a cold night, you know, like in the summer, whatever. But um, it has this little special detail on the edge. You can see just really cute. Um, What does it retail for? It showed me on here. Retailed for $58 at Kohl's. I think I'm going to try to get like 22 to 25. I'm going to try. But again, I told you, I'm so new at Poshmark. I haven't even um, sold an item from them, you know, on there yet. Uh, eBay has mostly been hard goods and things. I'm trying to, it's so much easier to post on Poshmark. Um, so kind of focusing on posting clothes on Poshmark over there. And then um, trying to cross list over to eBay when I have a little free time at night. Right now, all my kids are occupied in the living room. So I'm trying to go quick. So I probably will only go through half of this stuff that I have. As I have a whole other pile right here of other things. So there might be two to three parts to this whole haul video. Um, this is, I loved this and I've never heard of this brand even in any of the videos that I've watched it's w5 and it's new with tags it says who where what when where can you see and it's just this it says w5 um kind of like kimono style um card like it's not cardigan it has like three quarter length sleeves and I love this it has these like little little details on the end and of course I love paisley so this is just my jam right here I love this it actually is my you know I could fit into it it's a size 1xl you know so it doesn't like really wrap up but it just like hangs over but it's so cute I'm tempted to keep it um I think I'm gonna try I think I put 22 down um please let me know if you are a seasoned reseller or if you have any, you know, comments or ideas or things that you know about certain items I'm putting up or, um, 
repair ideas for repairs, please, please let me know. Um, oh, I forgot to show you. I found some really pretty silk dresses um, and they have stains on them. They're very faint, so I, I'm surprised. I mean, I'm not surprised I missed it on one, but um, do you think it's worth it for me to get them dry cleaned? Or do you guys have any tricks to get stains out of silk on your own? Um, I'm tempted to try to do it on my own to see because it was just so faint and little tiny spots. Um, I don't know how much it would cost to dry clean the dress, but oh, it's so pretty. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but definitely let me know what you do or how you clean your items and what your specific tricks are. I'd love to see a video on that too. So if you have a YouTube channel, please, please tell me and I will be happy to follow you and subscribe because I'm all about reselling. It's fun and exciting and I love to learn. So let's see, do I have any other new tags? This one, I kind of have them just stacked because I don't have the cool stand to have yet, but work with what you got, right? So this is a Talbot's. I was kind of iffy on whether or not I wanted to grab this, but it's just kind of a really, it's, you know, definitely preppy style, but it's a medium sized, um, new with tags. It, the original price was $69.50, but it looks like it went on sale for $39.99. Um, but it's just a simple button up cardigan, navy, um, regular kind of knit in the back and then it has, you know, this kind of like almost like a, a chevron style um, knit in the front. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I should have buttoned this for you guys so that you could have seen it a little bit better. Um, next time I do a haul, I the next one I do, I might try to go live because I'd rather try to have people talk to me while I do this because that's always fun. That's just a little piece of lint. But this is, you know, really good condition. Um, it's just, it's really just classic, nice, you can put it on. Plus Easter's coming. So if you want to go to church or have something to wear over, it would be really cute. Um, okay, so this line, I, you know, didn't know about until I started watching videos. Um, BCBG Max Azria. I feel like I always say Zaria, but it's Max Azria. And this is kind of like a sport hooded zip up, full zip, um, sweatshirt. Um, it's, it's got spandex in it. So it's stretchy. Um, really nice. Kind of like a cool, I, it wouldn't, I don't think it would be too hot to wear. Um, it, I wonder if it went to a set. I tried to find, you know, stock photos on this but I couldn't find anything but it's black and it's got this like yellow gold striping um with the BCBG right there on the front I just thought that was cute I think a lot of the stuff that I found I think I was going to do it like tw in the 20s 20 to 30 dollar range dang I, okay here it is uh BCBG active wear hooded I'm gonna do put this up for 29 I think I saw another one sell for the same price and this is really good quality so um, that's what I think the comps were. So I'm going to try for that. So 29, 29 on the BCBG, um, sweatshirt. Okay. I have, okay, let's do something fun. This looks vintage to me on the outside, but I don't know the brand. Like a lot of these are all new brands to me because I'm not seasoned. I haven't been selling clothes. This is all new. So please, if you have information, please en enlighten me. I would love it. I encourage you to tell me because Please keep it, like, please keep it nice. But this is a tinsel town and it actually has like this like crinkly sound in their tag, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, size small, but how cute is this dress? Um, it's a like high acid wash, um, fully buttoned all the way up and down, um, little dress in, it's like a kind of like a tank top style. To me, this like screams like eighties early 90s but um if you know anymore and I've been trying to look for it and I can't I need to do a little bit more research on some of these brands because you know they interest me and this is all new to me there was no pockets or anything on this but you can see the back it's just it's good I just thought that was so cute and it has this kind of like special little um 
bust space kind of like accents there so cute i wish i was a small small i would wear that myself it's so cute all right um let's see what is next what is next so i did get a couple blouses so i did more shirts i didn't get any pants i grabbed a couple of dresses when i was hiding in the dress spot from the previous video i ended up um looking through the dresses for a little bit and um i found some cute things some things that i like um including the silk dresses which i'll show you in a little bit uh this is something that's actually near to me because we're in massachusetts this is a very vineyard um martha's vineyard shirt blouse long sleeve oh uh, they're probably more three quarters length sleeve actually um they've got these bamboo leaf um embroidered you know sh oh that looks so cool in the light wow that looks even better than what i'm looking at myself um it's just so cute and it has these like um i want to call them mother of pearl buttons um they're really you know like they're definitely shells um, but they're not abalone or anything. So it's just really, it's you know, very shiny and very cute. Um, has little slits on the end. I love this. I think that's great. Especially like, like I'm thinking Easter. Easter, the, the colors, I kind of went like with a teal blue. It was just kind of like my like go-to color, I guess, for this trip. But uh, I just found a lot of those. But I think that's really cute. Uh, this one... I don't want to like look through my list again, but it's um, a size large and it's, um, I think it's 100% polyester, if I recall. I think I was going to list it, I think around, give or take 25. None of these are listed yet. So please, if you see something that you like and that you want, just send me a message, like I said, on Instagram. Um, or you can do it, leave a comment below. Um, it's so pretty. It's just, you know. I like shiny things and seashell things. <laughs> All right, here's another Magashoni. I actually found two of this brand. Um, this is 100% linen, red, very bright, um, short sleeve. It's got a high-low hem on the bottom. Um, sorry, fuzz. Um, but it's just fun. Linen is, it's 100% linen, so if you want to see this. Oh, can you see it? It's just Magashoni. It's like a little metal tag. It's really cute. And it has a keyhole back. It's really cute. Um, I love this too. What did I say? Oh, medium. Size medium. La la. Sorry, it's silence makes me feel awkward. So I have to like make noises to entertain you, I hope. Um, this one, <laughs> I definitely found a lot of Aztec kind of style items. I love this. This is a little, um, it's a, I wouldn't call it a duster cardigan, but it's just definitely like a little bit longer, long sleeve. Um, again, the teal kind of color. It's so funny. Um, this is hippie rose, um, size small. I was in size small for like ever. That's where I started and I should have gone like the opposite way. I feel like, um, I love this little tag too. Um, I just think this is adorable. I was, again, I was sad I couldn't fit into it, but actually the shirt that I'm wearing, I got there too. It's a, I already forgot the name of it. So funny. I'll remember in a minute, but this is cute. I love the back. This isn't in a high retail. I think it's going to be around $20, maybe 18, 20, I think, but it's really lightweight. It's really cute. I love that. Um, oh, did I get another? I think I had three BCBG. I think this is what this one is too. Let me see. Where are you? Yep, BCBG, Max Azria, size medium. This is kind of like, I feel like a staple. I feel like people love stripes. So it has two little interesting kind of rectangular pockets that are, um, you know, asymmetrical kind of like sideways. Long sleeve, you know, kind of, can you see that? It's got like a sparkle on it. I'll show you the tag too, just so you can see. But really lightweight, really cute. I just thought, I know... Like, I know this isn't really, I don't know, I don't think this one's a high value either. So probably around 18, 20 to 22. Just, these are all guesses because I have nothing to go on except for comps. So it'll be interesting to see how close I am to actually, you know, get, because I'm such a new seller, I don't have a large following yet. I mean, I, I've been on there for like a week and a half and I already have over 2,000 followers, which is pretty interesting to me. But 
Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how close I can sell these for. And Poshmark is all new to me. So this is really preppy, but I feel like it's one of those things that I feel like I should have. The only thing is, is that the tag kind of ripped a little bit off. It's uh, a Michael, Michael Kors. I only picked it up because it's Argyle and it's Navy. And, um, you know, I figured why not? I mean, I wouldn't wear this. Just it's not my style. I'm more kind of like eclectic and weird. I mean, look at my clothes in the background. This is money for sale. This is just mine. Um, they're just so colorful and bright and obnoxious. So I would not really be wearing this. But I still think it's cute. I do like Argyle. I like the diamond shapes. I love that. And it's got the V-neck and it's got the button down. I only have two buttons buttoned, but long sleeves, lightweight. I figured again, like because of the spring and I was spent so much time in that area. Okay, so oh, I think I have one more new with tags. It kind of slipped down there. Another lightweight. Um, this is also a brand that's not high value. Um, it's actually a Macy's brand, or it was sold at Macy's. It has the tag for Macy's. Um, gives me the style number and the size on this. It's August Silk. It's a size medium. I think I looked it up. It was like called Cotton Ball. Um, and it has this kind of, you know, like extra embroidered kind of like little dots on there. Just really cute. Size medium. Sounds like my phone is ringing and my kids are trying to come in. I'll be back. <laughs> All right. Crisis averted. I fixed it. I had to handle that and be a super mom for a minute. Okay, so I only have a few things left to show you. I think we ended on the um, Cotton Ball August Silk. Um, that particular style, I don't think, runs pretty high. But um, So I found another cardigan, go figure. It's kind of a purplish pink. Well, this is upside down. How did I do that? <clears throat> I was actually recording, or I thought I was recording. I had started doing this, showing you this already, and it wasn't recording. So... Dang, I wish that was on there because it was pretty funny afterwards. Anyways, so this is a long kind of, um, you know, kind of like a long duster with long sleeves, a really cool diamond kind of knit pattern, um, size one in Torrid. I think this is going to go retail like probably around 24, 25. I'm not going to really look at my list anymore because it makes me silent for too long. And silence makes me feel awkward. I think I said that earlier. I don't know. I can't even keep track because I have to keep recording myself. <laughs> oh, so this is a brand that I found that I was like so excited to find. This is one of those ones that I was just like, yes, I found one. Um, Anthropology brand. Um, it's staring at stars. Uh, it's a, another cardigan, kind of like a waterfall cascading front. Um, with black sleeves, gray, it's a wool blend, I believe, and it's staring at stars. I know everything is backwards, and I'm so sorry. I'm hopefully can fix that, but, um, if it's backwards, that's what it looks like. So, just has one, it's funny, because it only has one pocket on the left side. Let's see if I can show you. It's right here. Um, there is not one on the right side. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. I lied. There's two sides. I lied to you, but I'm telling you the truth now. So, it has pockets, and, uh, sorry, the angle's not very good. I'm trying to show you, but, uh, that's exciting. I think I was going to do around $30 for that. Um, yeah, maybe. Again, I'm new, and I'm forgetful because I have three kids. <laughs> So my brain is not all there, so I apologize. But I, mo like I said, most of the stuff that I found is like in the twenty to thirty dollar range. There's a couple things that are higher. Um, this one I can't decide if I want to sell it or not. It's so nice. Oh, it's a one size. We'll say it fits most because, you know, generally it does. It is an express. New with tags. Oh, here was another one. It was I forgot this was new with tags. One size express. Originally, wow. Did I say originally? Oh, you can't see it. Ninety-eight dollars. Okay. Um. 
again, another Aztec kind of style. Let's see if I can kind of get it up so you can see. It's just kind of like a square. It does have a sewn sleeve, um, but it's wide. Oh, it's just, oh, I just love this so much. I know you can't see me. Can you see the bottom? <laughs> so I just love this so much. I, I know I can't, it's like a blanket and it's warm and snuggly and I love it. Um, but I, I am going to post this up because it's just so nice and I love it so much, but I really just feel like when I really wear it out, what I really, you know, I usually like throw on a, a coat and I'm running in a rush all the time that it's just so nice. And we haven't been going to church lately because, um, well, just cause COVID reasons and stuff. It's just, you go and you can't go and with the kids and the masks and all that, it's just, it's a little frustrating. So I love that though. That's, that's going to be awesome to whoever wants that. Okay, so here is a White House black market. I've heard that been talked about a lot. Some people say it's bread and butter. Some people say they can't sell. It's kind of like one of those like in-between brands. Some of their stuff is really, you know, high quality, can sell really nice, especially new with tags, but like retail. But this one, I think I saw it. I have like a, I think I'm more obsessed with um, comping items and like looking at, looking up the items than I am actually like, even though I don't remember everything. <laughs> I just I like trying to look so I've looked it up multiple times trying to find it um but this is like a shirt dress um but it has apparently it has a stain on the back of it that I did not see before well I can get that I can wash this this is not new with tag so it's okay but white house black market size small long sleeve black with white striped dress so if you can see the bottom it's kind of got this like um black trim on the side that's cut open and it's just interesting I don't I think this is gonna I'd like to say 20 but I'm not sure so I'll try for that if that's what's on my list here um interesting to see it's like a t-shirt kind of material it's really soft it's nice it'd be cute just to you know simple casual kind of comfortable comfortable can't speak today apologize uh next let's see we're down to three items over here and then i'll show you see if you can see the silk items if you guys have any tricks for me um i hope i've been keeping you in suspense to see the silk dresses so <laughs> this is definitely kind of my style unfortunately the shirt will not fit me um it is knox rose size large um, it's got this kind of um, like rusty red color with blue um, decoration trim and stripes on it. It's got little tassels in the front, like a tie front. I just love this. I love this like hippie style, fun, fancy happiness. Um, I saw a couple of these that were low end on re you know reselling retail not retail um reselling oh i just noticed it has this cute little bead on it i like that um it's on both sides i think yeah they're still there both sides are still there Sassy tassel oh that's from texas gal treasures <laughs> oh i love her song i don't know if she has copyrights to that but it's so cute <laughs> go check her out she's awesome if you want to learn about jewelry she's so fun um okay so this one cracked me up because I did not realize that, and I don't, like, I just, Ivanka Trump. I didn't buy Ivanka Trump uh, blouse. It has these kind of, like, I don't know how to describe these sleeves. I'm still learning the styles and cuts and things. Like, I don't, it's just so funny. But it has this kind of ruffled edge with, like, a half-cut sleeve, um, a V-neck. See, Ivanka Trump. Uh, it's a size small. And it's got these like large flowers on here. It's kind of like a, it's kind of a mauve, mauve color. I don't know. I thought it was cute too. And I thought it was funny because, you know, goodbye Trump. But anyways, I, I, I was, I was like, oh, I'm just going to try because I think this is funny. So I'm doing it. Um, it's got that kind of, oh, I didn't tell you the material. 
It has a, I think it's, I think it's rayon. Did I look at the other one when I was doing that? I don't know. Oh, you know what? This one doesn't, I don't think this one has a tag. I kept, I keep looking in this one and I can't find it. It just says made in China. That's it. Oh wait, no. Hanger, hanger tags. Nothing else. It doesn't tell me the material. So I apologize, but cute nonetheless. Also really cute for um, Easter. Those like, you know, like pinky blues and stuff. Those colors are really fun. You know, I know it's a couple months out, but I feel like time is flying by. So this is another one I was really excited about. Um, I found stock photos for this, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, Keyhole Back uh, Express Extra Small. Um, it's so cute. Okay, you ready? I told you I was obsessed with embroidery. Look at this. And then it has this like low little great with like high boots you know just so adorable keyhole back with the kind of like a small little hook there um sleeves with elastic elastic um right there just oh i love this it's so pretty and this and the detail in here is and it, it has no flaws it's in perfect condition i love this I love this. So pretty. Okay, so that's it. But this is super, super pretty. I love it. Okay, so you ready to see my stains? <laughs> I don't know if I would have, I really don't know if I would have, if I had seen the stains, if I would have taken these items. So this is one of those things like, as you develop into your journey as a reseller, there's things that you learn about what you would or wouldn't do. And this is kind of why I wanted to come in as a new person, a new reseller to kind of like teach and teach my, teach you and teach me along the way. So we can kind of watch it from beginning to uh, the future. Um, so there's only two silk dresses. The first one I think is stunning that when I was looking at it and I realized that it had uh, marks on it, I almost cried. Um, it's on the back too. And then there's a little pulling. So I'm not sure. Oh, I left the tag on here. I spent $5 on this. Oh, I forgot this was a BCBG Maxia. Max Azaria. Excuse me. Um, size small. Uh, half zip back. Cut sleeves with... Um, I don't know. I forget what to call those. But they have these like little hoop buttons. These buttons are so so cute it's kind of like in those it's almost like a little see but i love this dress again it's kind of shortcut kind of classic style like i think like 50s style kind of um there's the zipper in the back it definitely needs a steam and i don't have a steamer so there's that too so uh let's see if i can find the stains on the back um there's a little pulling on the back but it's really not that noticeable um, oh, did I show you the tag? I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so here, maybe it's the front. Okay, I can see it on the inside more than I can see it on the outside. So see that? Oh my goodness, I can't even show you. See that dot right there? There's a small, oh, and then there's this. Oh, that. The thing is, is I don't know if it's going to stand there. It kind of looks like coffee to me, which might stay. Um, it has this cute little, like, bust accentuation. Um, I know there's another spot down, a couple of spots down lower. It's like somebody, like, dribbled on themselves. So I don't know if they bothered to get it cleaned or if they were just like, oh, forget it. I don't want it anymore. So if you guys have an idea on how to, I don't know if you can see it in the front. That's the biggest one. Can you see it? A little bit. You could, I saw it more on the back because it's so shiny. I just didn't see it. Um, I really think it's so pretty. So what would you do? What would you do with those stains? Would you go have it dry clean? Oh no, I just noticed one even bigger. Oh my gracious. Oh, look at that. So much. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I don't know. I'm wondering if they did try to get it dry clean and it didn't come out. Um, 
No, that makes me so sad. But that's why I definitely would say check your items thoroughly, especially when it comes to the silk, because is it worth it to you? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to try to do it on my own. Maybe. I might take it to the dry cleaners and see what they say. You know, but also it's kind of hard too because if you take it to the dry cleaners, you know, they can't guarantee they can clean it. So, you know, and it's hard enough to see them. You know, they might miss a spot. So whereas I am like examining it constantly, I'll see it. This is, this one doesn't have that bad of a stain. This one's like, I think it would come out pretty easily. Um, it's kind of got a sweetheart neckline, kind of ruffle trim at the top. This is a White House Black Market, size 6, 100% silk, and, and the lining is 100% polyester. So it's a combo, but it does have 100% silk on it. So excuse me if I misled you. Um, tie back. Um, and it's just a cute little black dress. So you see that spot down there? This right there. I think that would come out. It looks like really easy to get out. It just looks like, I don't know what, looks like something, but I think it's a simple clean. Um, I think it's really cute. It's a half zip in the back. Um, did I show you this? Did I show you this? I don't know if I showed you this, but we'll do it again. Size six. Really cute. Super cute. You know, when we can go back out, go on a nice fancy date, or to a wedding, um, or just a night out. I just think it's so fancy. This one, I'm definitely, I, I think I can clean that spot by myself because I don't think it's, I don't think it'll be too bad. So anyways, if you know, please tell me. That is going to, I'm going to put that back over here. That is going to conclude my video. So I hope you enjoyed watching me make a fumbly mess of myself. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't do comps on those dresses because I'm too focused on wanting to get them uh, cleaned before I try to post them up. I don't want to post them with all those marks, especially that extremely large shoulder stain I just noticed. Makes me so sad. I was going to go over my North Face jackets with you, but I think I'll save that for another time because I've already been on here what I feel like is forever and I can't even see the time because I have two different videos anyways so I will see you next time for part two so I will talk to you all later please comment oh yeah I have to say that please comment below let me know what you think please hit that like button for me and also subscribe wow subscribe down I think it's over here I don't know it could be over here we'll just do one of these point at the subscribe button put push the subscribe button and also the little notification bell if you want to be notified for when I post another video so I hope you enjoyed this new resellers content and if you have anything else you'd like me to post please tell me thank you and peace and love